All right, AJ Ferrari, welcome to the show. How's how's it been since last Saturday? It's been great, man. It's been a long couple of days. It seems like you know, it feels like it's been longer than it's already been. But really, yeah, just taking it all in. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it's been a week. Just with school and everything, everything's been kind of slowed down. You know, taking everything in, but it's been great. Yeah, just to settle with my family, my team, and my just everybody you know in the whole town. Have you been training since Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. What's the schedule been like? Uh, I mean, not too crazy. Mainly working on transitioning from folk style, freestyle, from right. trials. So, pretty quick turnaround there. Um, especially since it's a, it was two weeks away from like whenever I originally right wrestled this past weekend. I mean, it's crazy how it set it up compared to other countries where they wrestle later on. Or right. The tryout stuff. And it kind of sucks, but. For me, you know, I'm just going to work on my transitions, you know, transition leg race, transition gut wrench. Those are the biggest things, you know, part tear on the mat wrestling. So just doing some of that. And it was nice that um, I'm always here. So I got to feel with Isaiah Martinez. Yesterday. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that was really good, especially for me, too, because I, I should have a good right double. And I like to put my double, like, the same timing as Jordan Burroughs. So helping for, for possibly JB, you know. Yeah, Somebody at 210 pounds, very similar, you know. Yeah, that's definitely a big helper. Um, so obviously you got a you got a couple different weight classes at, at Olympic team trials. You go 97, which is what 213, I think, and then 86, which is like 186, 184. Yeah. Um, what do you what are you thinking right now? What's your thought? I'm probably gonna go up, but um, I haven't decided. You can always cut down, you know, last minute. But um, right now it seems more like a go up. You know, that way I can yeah. keep my strength because. My whole wrestling style is based on, you know, strength and athleticism. Mm -hmm. So why not, you know, use that to my advantage and stick with that, you know? So sure. me just putting on the size, and that's what I really been focused on, you know, lifting and doing more reps this last week and then next week really dialing in like I did the week before at NCAs and, you know, knowing what I need to get to to take these dudes down and how to transition, you know, leg lace or coverage, you know? So that's going to be the biggest thing for me. You know, same thing, same approach as NCAAs, you know, no different than any other tournament. Just right. going with the mindset that, you know, I'm taking them out one by one, you know, focusing on one what I got to get to, how I'm going to execute my moves. And, you know, it's pretty great when you got somebody who's, you know, made six World Olympic teams in a row and won six World Olympic gold medals, you know, in a row. So it's great having a coach like that. And Chris Perry is a great coach in my corner too, you know. That's another thing I wanted to touch on is is your relationship with the with the staff over there at Oklahoma State. You've only been there for about a year now, uh, or even less than. When did you get there at Oklahoma State? Uh, we were supposed to get here like in June, July, but because COVID, it got kind of pushed back. I think it's for everybody, right? Right. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's been it feels like it's been over a year for sure. But even though it hasn't, I mean, we just set it off so great. Just because I've been going up with these dudes, you know, doing doing camps. Um, coming down doing camps back in Allen, you know, him, Coach Perry, Tyler Caldwell, all those dudes, you know, you can see pictures of them whenever we were run, younger, you know, them running camps. So I always looked up those dudes, you know, and idolized them. Now, you know, be, be doing what they're doing, you know, and just, just do it, you know, as a true question, it's just great. And I think it's awesome for the team, for people to see, like, you know, not only as an individual, but we'll bring you back, you know, a team trophy this year getting third and we're going to come back next year and really you know go after first place you know i think we have a good shot you know For sure. a, lot of our, a lot of our guys coming back and a lot of our young guys stepping up so that's going to be the biggest thing you know i was saying is maybe our young guys you know stepping up saying like what i would say is using the mentality that we have to our advantage that i always say is you know we have everything to gain and nothing to lose you know a lot of these seniors they got a lot to lose you know this is our last chance for me, man, it's my first one, you know, go out there, wrestle, you know, be offensive mm -hmm. and have fun, most importantly. So I tell those guys that and that's the mentality I'm going to use for Olympic trials, too. You know, these dudes, they get beat by me. It's going to be a lot to lose. For me, I got nothing to lose. I'm going out there is the mentality that just have fun and, you know, take them out. Let's do it, you know. And my coaches love it and everybody here loves it. And we're just going to keep the train rolling. It's really cool to be able to see that, too. It's just because – um, you know, normally in, in terms of leadership, that normally comes from the older guys, the guys who have been there for a while. But I feel like you've almost taken a role of leadership in your first year at Oklahoma State. Where does that come from? Obviously, you're the oldest of three brothers. Um, is that where it develops? And uh, and how are you able to use that on that wrestling team? 
I think, yeah, I think that's a lot of it. I think uh, being a leader in my family, being the oldest boy in a strong, you know, Italian old school household, I think being a leader, you know, anytime we're out in public or anytime anything goes on, that's huge too. But um, I've always tried to be a leader, you know, just that could just come from, you know, the Bible, you know, being strong in your faith and being strong in who you are, you know, not changing who you are just because of the world, because it's a new, you know, generation, you know. So I'm going to stay true, true and truthful to who I am, you know, and that's not going to change. And I feel like, you know, a lot of people see me um, online and stuff, but um, I do have a big personality. But another thing, too, is that, like, I work very hard and then I have a very confident, uh, you know, like positive based mentality that's contagious. You know, I was saying this right. to my Coach Perry's hand, there's no doubt that I'm going to win all these matches, you know, 0% doubt. And um, that's a level of confidence that um, is contagious and you can feel it and it affects the way you perform. So I always, we have that confidence in the room too. I mean, it's awesome. I'm, I've really been a big leader um, as a freshman for the upper weights, I think, for sure. Mm -hmm. Just telling guys, you know, even though we haven't done some things, and upwards that we're, we're coming and I told them and now they're seeing it and they're believing it because we're going to say thing as a true freshman, you know, coming in. I mean, you could say a lot of things, a lot of people who say I'm going to be an NCAA champion, you know what I mean? Even number right. one, number two recruits, but they don't turn out to be nothing. So it's mm -hmm. all about, you know, the hard work, all about um, reaping what you're sowing. And I tell these dudes that and they're seeing all the extra weightlifting I'm doing, all the extra stuff I've been doing off season to paying off, you know. And um, Dayton Fix is really a good example of that as too on the bottom side he's um been being more vocal lately too because he's usually just the type of dude that just like you know puts his head down and just goes to work you know he's afraid right. of worms. now he's being more vocal for the lower weights you know really showing those guys that um you know they need to step up these these younger guys and they can do this you know we can do this as a team if we want to win team titles you know we have to it really has to be a team effort as you saw this weekend you know we had one champ and one runner up and we got third, you know, and we were in two, four behind. So, you know, mm -hmm. just like the thing with Iowa, you know, they, Penn State had four champs. You know, if you think about it, that team aspect of everything is huge. And um, having that team, it's, you know, it's a brotherhood already. But the team aspect is just great as well. You know, it just makes it so much great to have these relationships with these guys, you know, that are going to last a lifetime, you know. And that's part of the reason that I really picked up home State because I felt like these dudes, you know, are real dudes that can have my back, you know, almost like, in high school comparison is to like Bergen Catholic, you know, that's like, yes. that's the one, that's the one school that I could say could, can compare to it. You know, honestly, nowhere else can even come close, but yeah. Well, that's really cool to hear that you're, you're able to feel that. And um, it's exciting to see Oklahoma state back on the rise because they've been a program that's been obviously the best in history um, with what is it? 33 titles, um, 34, right? but 34. 34. Yeah. So looking for number 35. So yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm, I'm excited to see some more, teams um getting in this team race and it's really good for the sport to have have people from all over start to get really good and it's no longer just Penn State and Iowa um but the the last thing I really wanted to touch on was kind of the personality that you um set up um on outside in your interviews on social media and stuff and I I, I understand um you know that's just a great angle to come from you're going to develop a lot of haters from it and you already have um, right. But something I noticed just through social media and looking to see what people say um, this last weekend is like all the people that were hating on you a couple months ago, we're all like kind of jumping on your band bandwagon this weekend. And uh, I think it's a really good approach that you have, that you have a, a really um, flamboyant, I guess is the word, uh, personality. And it draws in a lot of attention. I think it's really, really cool. Is that something that you've you've planned or is that just just come naturally no it's just who i am i mean if you were known from a young age you know the same way like i'm just like that i'm just i really don't honestly to all the haters and everybody i really don't care that much and i've never really been a shy guy you know i'm gonna be who i am whatever it is you know even with i mean everything in life i mean when it comes to school when it comes to girls i'm not shy and i just name who i am you know so that's yeah. just the way i grew up and that's just me being strong and who i am you know my dad grew up for me, I'm being like strong and like I'm Italian American, you know, I'm like carrying myself like a certain way with confidence, you know, that's the way I am. And that's just the way, you know, I was, I was built, you know, whenever you have like proper preparation, whenever you have really strong faith in God and you do the right things, you know, 
people can see that as, you know, cockiness, but for me, it's just confidence, you know, because I put right. in so much work and these dudes don't understand it because they've never had to work like something like this in their whole life. You know, it's been 15 years that I've been on doing this, you know, since I was four years old, I've been wrestling. So it was a lot of work and just for it to pay off, you know, it was great, you know, whenever, I mean, I got, I was, people wanted me to celebrate after my finals match, but like, I was just so emotional, you know, I couldn't really celebrate, you know, so it was just mm-hmm. such a big moment. But no, like, that's, that's just who I am. Like, if people understand, like, people who have, like, this natural, like, like people, same thing with, like, Conor McGregor. Like, Conor McGregor naturally has that big personality. Right. There's people that try to fake it all the time in the UFC, and you could tell big time. But the people that naturally do it, you know, they're, and people are saying this already, like, it's really good for the sport, you know, for me to, yeah. you know, because people say I'm, like, trying to hype it up, but, like, everything I do is just like that. It's just, like, my lifestyle. Like, I'm just, I mean, if you were to ask somebody who hangs out with me, that's just my personality, and that's just who I am, you know? Yeah. And so, I can see it, yeah. How's that deadlift coming along? Um, it's coming along good. I actually deadlifted yesterday. Yeah. I was just doing reps. I was doing 500 for sets of 12, but I got I got to get my legs bigger. Yeah, legs is where you're gonna get all the weight and for 97 right. kilograms. So I'm just seeing how my body's reacting right now. I've been kind of shrunk down for 197, but I put my muscle mass pretty easy. So I think I'll be able to do it. I was doing like leg presses five. Four sets of 12 at 500, just reps. Mm-hmm. And then I was doing um, leg press, like five sets of 20 with 1,000 pounds. So I was doing some heavy leg work. That's where most of the weight would be gained, though. Yeah. So. How big do you think you can get? How big have you been able to get for this? I've been able to get to 225, but okay. I'm obviously not there yet just because I start, just started. I mean, I yeah. literally just wrestled, made three weight three days in a row at the NCAs. So, um, I mean, I don't know. I put on muscle mass really easy and I also get very yeah. lean very easily. So it just depends on how I want my body to react. So, and next year, the plan is heavyweight. I mean, obviously that's the plan. That'd be great. You know, I, I don't like really sucking down to 197 for this long, you know? Yeah. So I could always try one. Not, the biggest thing with heavyweight, the main reason I have honestly that I didn't go heavyweight was just for safety reasons. I mean, whenever you're 225, 230, because I'm so lean, I stay, I mean, I eat 5,000 calories a day and I still have like a six pack. It's just hard for me to put on like, hold on to that much muscle mass while wrestling you know what i mean that's the yeah. big thing like playing football would be way easier because you're just doing sprints it's explosive wrestling is cardio based so that's why it's such a hard sport to maintain lean muscle mass but anyway that the biggest thing is just like if i wrestle someone who's like 265 270 or more like the chances that they fall on me you know next thing you know i'm out for a while so yeah. that's why i really just have to focus on you know keeping my little muscle strong doing rehab and just you know being smart with everything so I mean, either way, I'm not worried. And I know that with the coaching staff here, you know, we have plenty of dudes who I go with and everything to get me where I want to be for heavyweight. So it'll be honestly a team decision and a coaching decision. So, yeah, it's just whatever's best for me, they feel, and whatever's best for the team. So, I mean, I could wrestle at 197 for five years. And maybe it would be pretty cool to, you know, I mean, if I did that and won five at 197, I mean, that really cement my legacy. I feel like being a five-timer at 197, I mean, that'd be pretty much say I'm like, one of, if not the greatest, one I seven pounder ever. One hundred percent. But at the same time, I also, you know, want to like enjoy wrestling and like, I don't know, I like lifting and wrestling one seven is hard for me to lift the same way and only lift. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and have and have the frame to, I mean, put on that much weight. You know. Mm-hmm. So I might not be the tallest. I'm only six foot, but um, I have a very long reach and very long, long arms, long legs. So it's a good frame to put on. You know, weight. Yeah, it's really exciting to hear and um. You know, I'm, I'm pumped for your next competition. You're a lot of fun to watch. I appreciate you taking the time to, to jump on the show. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on, man. 100%. All right, I'll talk to you later.